Hello, I'm Sonia Wood here at Oikos. I'm going to explain to you all about Maths You See here in South Africa and how it works. I particularly say in South Africa because you see we've got the South African edition. Thanks to Steve Demi, the author and developer of Maths You See in America, he has given us permission to print and publish Maths You See in South Africa and actually convert it to a specific South African edition meaning that we are using South African colloquialism and the metric system instead of the imperial system. And of course, the currency that is pertaining to our country here in South Africa. So, to give you an overview of how the whole program works, because you might find it helpful just to know where you start and how it all works. So the first place to start is to do a placement test. You will see there's a place on the site for you to do placement test. So you do that first with each individual student to ascertain their actual skill level in mathematics. So you are going to discover that your child might be ready to go in at the multiplication level or the division level or wherever it might be. Please don't get stuck in their age or their grade because you can have a 10 year old that is very proficient in maths and another 10 year old that is really struggling. And then the grade isn't really relevant. What is relevant? is their level of skill and ability and understanding. You'll also come to understand that maths you see is going color coded and the Greek alphabet, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and so on. So you don't have to think about this is grade one and this book's grade two, you rather have to think about their skill level. So once you've done your placement test, you are now going to establish what that skill level is with each child. The second question you might have is, about the fact that one book is focusing very strongly on addition, the next book is focusing very specifically on subtraction, and then multiplication and division. And you might concern yourself with that, saying, well, what about if they're in grade four and they've come out of grade four and they have already done division, and now they you go to do the placement test and they need to slot in at the subtraction level because maybe their multiplication and division wasn't solid enough. Please don't worry about that. Because you have to look at the bigger picture. At the end of the day, if you are focusing on addition, such as at the beginning, and then you're moving on to subtraction, they're not going to just suddenly stop doing addition because you've got to, subtraction is the reverse of addition, as we know. And then when they get to multipl multiplication and they're learning all the way through the year, gamma, the focus is on a mul multiplication, they have to add and subtract as well in their multiplication book. And then division is quick multiplication and so on and so forth. So you don't have to concern yourself with the fact that it is a different format and different to what the, how they were doing it in the school they were possibly in, whereby they were doing a little piece of everything. In this, with maths, you see the way Steve has designed and developed this is for them to get solid grounding in each concept and understanding before moving on to the next one so that the wheels don't fall off somewhere down the road. Okay. So I hope that settles your concerns regarding that particular aspect. The next thing is to not concern yourself with the fact that if you are having to start your child a few levels below what you think is their grade or their age, because basically you're filling in the holes and you're helping them to gain understanding in the area where there, there hasn't been understanding. So it's important that you do that, especially with a subject like maths, because you can't go on and do calculus if you've got areas in as far back as division where they haven't actually understood or grasped those concepts. So see it as a the whole journey, the big picture. At the end of it, they're going to be well, well educated in maths. In fact, we've got so many testimonies of students that go into university and they've done maths. You see, and the professors are asking them, where did you learn maths? What curriculum? How did you learn? Because they're amazed at their ability to be able to grasp and understand and move on in their maths lessons and learning. Okay, so you, you get a student book and a test book. That is for the student's purpose. And then the parent gets an instruction manual and the DVDs, which you watch with your child. Fortunately for us, we have got Steve Demi in our home via these DVDs. You can pop them into your DVD player or your computer, wherever is suitable for you. And you're going to watch the lesson here. Every single lesson in this workbook, student workbook, is presented first in the on the DVD by Steve himself. 
He's very passionate about what he does and he's a God-fearing man. And so that also comes through, which is really, really wonderful, supports the vision and philosophy of Oikos. So you would watch the lesson, read the instructions here in the parent manual. Let me show you how the parent manual works. There's instructions in the beginning of the book to help you understand how the whole program works right here in the front. So you'd read through that. And then you're going to get to lesson one. Now remember Steve realizes that maybe you're nervous of maths and maybe you need extra help. Basically he understands the parent and what your needs are there at home. And so he has put this together for us, which is really very helpful. So you would read through lesson one. As you can see, it's just a couple of pages. It's not a lot to read through, just to prepare yourself for that lesson to teach your child. And you're going to watch the, uh, the lesson here as well. You're going to see similar images here in the parent manual to what the child has got in their student book. And then you're going to guide the child in that lesson and you're going to get to lesson two. And so it's going to go. Now you want to know about the answers. The answers are all here in the back of the book for the lessons and for the tests. There's unit tests, there's final tests. Parents also worry about that. Where am I going to get the test from and how am I going to test my child and how am I going to know if they've finished that particular grade? Well, remember, we're not talking about grades. We're talking about finishing this particular book and getting all the skills and understanding of addition while doing this book. At the end of the student book, you're going to get a certificate which says, congratulations, your student has completed alpha and they are ready to move on to beta, the next level. You take that out, you put it in their portfolio file, and that's all. That's it. It's done. You know, as a parent, that your child has understood this. You know that if they were struggling, you stopped. You went back into the lesson and helped them to, to get understanding on that concept before moving on. So how long is it going to take? Each level is designed to take a year, written for a year's, a school year's um, time frame. However, you might take two years with one book and you might take six months, depending, very dependent on your child and their ability. The student also has a test book. So at the end of every lesson, they're going to do a little test, which gives you, the parent, again, an idea of how are they managing and have they actually understood that material. I'm just going to quickly show you the beta test as well, because the alpha test book is a test and activity book. But from beta onwards, the test book just looks like this. It is stitched rather than glue bound. And here is the test book. This is what the test books look like from here onwards. So there's just a test at the end of every lesson, you, which you have the answers for here in your instruction manual. And so you can mark the test and see how well the child has done. A parent asked me, what if they don't do very well? Well, then you don't move on, do you? You don't carry on to the next concept if they only got 50% understanding of the lesson before. You spend time on that lesson until there is understanding and ability and skills achieved in that particular lesson and concept before you move on. The other question that's come up a lot recently is the fact that our books are now glue bound because Matthew C. changed all the books from comb bound to glue bound. And people have asked, have said they prefer the spiral bound. Please, can they have the spiral bound? Because they find it difficult, the student finds it difficult to have this format to do their maths lessons in. Well, the answer is no, we can't make it comb bound. We're terribly sorry, but we must um, comply with what it is that the developers request of us. And so we must make it um, glue bound as we have. But a couple of tips for that. This is what you can do. You can put some other books underneath the section where your student is writing like that so that it's easy. The other thing I can show you is the format is such that it shouldn't be too difficult for the student to actually work here on this page and so it goes on. When are they working on this side, you can do the same in reverse and put some books underneath there so this child doesn't have as much of a ridge to work with here. So I do understand that that has been a bit of a difficulty for some that they preferred the comb bound because it lay flatter, um, but we aren't able to offer it to you in that format any longer. So I hope you will find this to be acceptable. The content is what matters, and this is a phenomenal program, actually. We've just got thousands actually, of home educators using it, and they are finding it to be incredibly, incredibly valuable. We hear so many testimonies of people that have come from all kinds of other curriculum. Even free maths is available, and they go to that, and they don't spend very long on it because they find that it's not offering the full value that they have discovered in maths, you see. The other thing I must mention is that when you have bought Alpha, 
the discs and the instruction manual. You obviously only need that once. For every child thereafter that comes up through the system, you will only get them a student book and a test book. However, if you're on child three or four or five and you found the disc is worn out a little bit, you might find that you need to replace just the discs later on, in which case you can buy those individually, but with a special request because they're not sold as separate items. We aren't permitted to sell them as separate items. For your first purchase, they must go together. For any purchases thereafter, we will possibly be able to sell you just the disc if that is required. Okay, now you might ask, what else do you need? That's why I've got these here. What else do you need to go with each level? It can be a bit confusing. On the website, you should see what is required for each level. But you might get confused because you might see that it says in Alpha, there's the skip counting song book and thing. And then in Beta, it must also show you that. And then in Gamma, it might also show you. But skip counting is multiplication. So this comes in really handy from the multiplication level onwards. And it's a once-off purchase. So whenever you buy it, whether you bought it at this level or at the gamma level, you buy it once and that's it. It's a, a music disc with little song book to help memorize multiplication facts. Some people like to buy it earlier on. That's why we've got it on the younger levels because they, their children have already maybe done multiplication from a school they've come from, but yet the, the parent has chosen beta for them because that's the level that the placement test showed them that they were at with other gaps in their learning and their understanding. So they get this while they're waiting for the student to get up to the gamma level. So this you can buy at any time, but it is very specifically um, helpful at the gamma level of math you see and, the, and onwards from there. This resource here is your fraction overlays, as they are called. They are now presented in a new format to what they were before so you might be familiar with the previous one this is an incredible tool it actually is putting into concrete format and visual and hands-on how to understand fractions here you've got fourths and fifths and halves and thirds inside this little pack you've got your fourths and fifths and inside here your halves and thirds and the students are going to take these out and use them in conjunction with the lesson that they are being given in their particular workbook. As it comes about, they will tell you, take out your fraction flips and use them in the following manner. So it's a very hands-on way of learning. So there are your fraction flips. When do you need these? From what level? Clearly you don't need fractions at alpha level because they're just learning addition or at beta level because they're just learning subtraction. So you would need those from the fraction book upwards being epsilon. So here we have epsilon. I've got the book to show you. See? Fractions. It will show you on the website below this book your fraction overlays. And so then you can purchase those. Obviously this is a non-consumable, so you only need to get it once, but some parents prefer for each student to have their own set of fraction overlays, in which case you're gonna buy more than one. But mostly only one is required. But you'll see if I go straight into the student book here, you'll see immediately they are illustrating the fraction overlays in a lot of the lessons. You're gonna be stuck without it. So if you got your fraction book for your student, and the very first thing that's going to request of you is to get for the student is to get their fraction overlays and do the following exercises with the actual fraction overlays. And of course, that is also shown on the DVD, shows um, you and the student what is required and the lesson pertaining to that particular requirement of needing to use the fraction overlays for that lesson. Very hands on bringing everything into a concrete format which is one of the reasons why Matthew C is so successful because it's, they're, they're watching the DVD, the student, they're listening to it. They're using the manipulatives for their concrete learning and hands-on learning. So it's covering all the different senses and all the different learning and it's combining them, which is why it actually works because they're also writing in their workbooks. Right from the very beginning, you will see the blocks are part of the Matthew C program. These are manipulative blocks used throughout the Maths UC program, right up to the higher levels, because when you watch the lesson, Steve giving you the lesson on the DVD, 
he's going to show you the lesson using the blocks and he's going to request the student to take out the blocks that are required for that specific lesson. And so these blocks in this box actually are enough blocks for the whole family, for all of the students. However, sometimes parents still want to have two um, sets of these blocks so that each child has got their own kit, as it were. It is packaged in such a way that it is meant to be one kit for the whole family. So this you will need. If you are going to use Maths UC and you decide you're going on the Maths UC journey, this is essential. When you get to Epsilon, as I've shown you, this is essential. This is very useful and helpful tool from Gamma onwards or before. An instruction manual and the DVD is essential for the parent and the workbook and test book essential for the student. So there you have it. Once you've made your investment in math, your Maths UC products, the manipulatives and the workbooks, you will obviously only just get the student book and the test book for each child that comes up and through the program thereafter because you'll be buying the, the instruction manual and the DVD once only. I must also tell you about how thrilled we are that we have this very special Maths UC program being a South African edition. In fact, parents have told me how wonderful this Maths UC program is and the fact that they had their children at extra maths and it was costing them a fortune um, just to help their children get to a point of understanding and being able to move through to the next level in their maths lessons. So they have found this to be very valuable obviously because they were spending a huge amount of money before trying to help their child with maths and this has now really worked for them. The other testimony I can share with you about this maths before I say goodbye to you is the fact that we've actually had adults that have bought maths you see that didn't get through maths in their school years they were they struggled with it, it was a weak spot for them and they've gone and bought maths you see from us and been educating themselves to advance themselves in their adult life and they have found it come together for them the light bulb moments are numerous for the parents as well they write to us and say i couldn't believe i was um, never ever completely grasped fractions until I did epsilon with my child and the light bulbs were just going off because they were just understanding it and seeing things in a way they had never ever grasped before. So clearly it is successful and clearly it works and everybody is happy. So we hope you're going to be and I hope that this explanation of how to get when and where and what is used for what is, has been helpful to you. But of course, you can always write to us or phone us if you need further assistance in anything regarding all of this. Thank you for watching. Bye.